Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sequel Cell. <laughs> Sequel Cell and Amy. <laughs> Where we talk about uh, the Netflix uh, review study. Yes. Welcome uh, welcome back to the channel, everyone. All right, Zach. <laughs> Mitchell needs some sleep, so this <laughs> is the last video of the stretch. <laughs> He's giving it a little loopier. Hey, you, how many hours did you study for today? Uh, I study for four today while working 10 hours. That's good. Oh. Good. Personally, right now I'm studying uh, infectious disease. So, but today we're doing sickle cell for the channel. Ooh. So, what is sickle cell, guys? Um, this is a disorder where the hemoglobin is concave or sickle shape, and it's the same as sickle cell. This makes it harder for the red blood cell to move throughout our vessels and puts us at risk for infections. So infections from strepto, H flu, and the syria. So, not fun stuff, but hey, it is what it is. So some Dawn drug treatment you can do is blood transfusion. The goal hemoglobin or HGB as you'll see throughout every time I mention hemoglobin is no higher than 10. So if hemoglobin is greater than 10, don't transfuse. Bad. But in practice, blood transfusions aren't really done unless the hemoglobin is less than 7. And at some institutions, it's less than 6. So that's kind of like where they're at in actual practice, but less than 10 is usually you might be thinking of a blood transfusion. It's because of the blood transfusion it can cause an iron overload. And if that happens, you might need to do chelation therapy, which is done with defuroxamine, defuroxerox, or defuropirone. So just something to keep in mind. So drug treatment, though. This is a pretty short chapter because it's pretty simple. Immunizations, analgesics, or hydroxyurea. Um, analgesics are for the severe pain, so it might require IV opioids or PCA, which is a patient-controlled anesthesia. So basically, the patient has a button that lets them use use morphine into them or whatever the opioid is. And based on the PCA, they might actually make a dose of opioid to give them. That's kind of why the PCA PCA is usually first. Then from the PCA, they titrate it to whatever the patient's actually using, and they give them that amount of opioid. Okay. Uh, hydroxyurea stimulates the production of HDBF. This is just random facts you might need to know. For adults with greater than three moderate severe pain crisis, it, with greater than three moderate severe pain crisis in one year, the BBW, the black box warning for this medication, is a myelosuppression. Also, if you're on this medication, you want to avoid live vaccines, which honestly, not many vaccines are even live anymore. So that's usually not a problem. But it is fetal toxic, so don't give it to a pregnant person. I was thinking of folic acid with it as well. Some, some other drugs you can give is L-glutamine or Endari. This reduces your acute complications. Boxalotor. I probably butchered that name. This inhibits the HBS polymerization. Which increases the hemoglobin's affinity for oxygen, thus stabilizing the hemoglobin. So basically it allows the hemoglobin to bind to oxygen better, which is good because your your red blood cells are kind of squished in this disease state, which means they can't really hold as much oxygen as you They can bind to more oxygen when by using this drug, it's good for you. Uh Kranazumab binds to the P selectin, which basically prevent reduces the frequency of these events from occurring. This is, you're able to use this in people over 16 years or older. And a vaso-occlusive crisis is basically when the blood is blocked. The wind flow of, the blood flow is blocked due to sickle-shaped cells and then the pain occurs. So this basically kind of helps reduce the frequency of these events, which means being less pain. Very patient being less pain. And then how do we cure this uh, sickle cell disease? bone marrow transplant is the only way you can really cure it um this has risk to it and it's also expensive so it's not always an option for patients most patients will either have to suffer through it until they can get a bone marrow transplant not really the best idea but at least there's some drugs to help them out that's really all i got for this lesson guys i mean there's really not much of sickle cell 
I think of sickle cell, I also think of anemia, so going over that chapter video as well. I kind of think of them together, at least in my head. Any questions about this chapter, please leave them below in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed it. You're trying to be quick to the point video. You guys liked it. Any final thoughts, Mitchell? No, oh, thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. And uh, keep on studying. Right, Mitchell's going to go to bed now. So. <laughs> Good night.